Hello, my name is Kim and I'll be your Pilates instructor today. If you do feel pain, discomfort, shortness of breath, dizziness or any concern about your vascular access, then please stop and seek advice. Otherwise, relax and enjoy the movement. If at any time you feel concerned, you can just sit down, relax, find a comfortable position, breathe and just take yourself through the exercises that I'm describing in your mind. This can have enormous benefit. So for those of you who are a little less mobile, here are some Pilates exercises to be done in a chair. It will also help you with your chair posture, your sitting posture. Okay, so we're going to start off sitting on the chair, bring yourself a little bit towards the front edge of the chair. Make sure your feet are flat on the floor and hip width apart as well. Bring your hands underneath your sitting bones there. So you should feel your sitting bones on the palms of your hands. I'd like you to tuck your bottom under and roll backwards. Notice how your sitting bones come in front of your hands. Stick your bottom out and tilt your pelvis forwards. You'll feel the sitting bones go behind. Let's do that a few times. Just be a little bit careful of any vascular access there. And you can just do it on one side if you need to. It's also not so comfortable on your knuckles on a hard chair. So don't do this too many times if it's sore. If you settle halfway in between, you will notice that your sitting bones are directly on top of your hands. Remove your hands. And this is suddenly a good sitting posture. So no need to strain the lower back to pull yourself up into that extreme sitting posture. You should feel that your shoulders are balanced on top of your hips and you're sitting directly onto those sitting bones. Now, if you draw in your lower tummy, you'll activate those deep abdominal muscles that act like a corset to stabilize through your middle. Make sure your ribs are down. A big problem with sitting posture is people trying to stick the ribs up and out there, causing a curvature in the spine at this high level. We need to flatten that and drop those ribs down. If you feel like you're slouching, get someone to take a picture of you from the side or check in a mirror from the side. Chances are you are nice and upright. Drop through the shoulders, broaden out through the chest, tuck that chin backwards and lengthen up through the back of the neck. Now, first of all, just have your hands softly on your knees there. We're just going to do some neck movements. Lovely. So we're going to take the head to the side and come back up. Drop those shoulders down. Don't let the shoulder come up with the neck movement. Try and push the other shoulder down. Just gently from side to side whilst holding that good posture. Lovely. Facing forward again, correct that chin, tuck backwards. Let's have a rotation. If you rotate with the tuck of the chin, you'll get some nice stretches through that neck. Be careful not to bring the alternate, the other shoulder forwards with it. We're just rotating the neck. Lovely. All right, you're going to tuck the chin down, holding that same posture, keep those ribs down and everything nice and stable. And then just look up to the ceiling, but being careful of the neck and any vascular access you have around there. Tuck the chin. Nice and controlled, looking up towards the ceiling. Let's just do one more of these. Definitely not too extreme. Lovely. All right. We're going to rotate around the chest. So cross your hands across the shoulders there. Again, just being careful not to compress anything. Rotating to the side. Now our hips are fixed as we're sitting on this chair. So just rotating through the chest. Just feel yourself rotate around that bra strap level. Good. And you can add the breath, you can breathe in, breathe out as you rotate, breathe in, breathe out as you rotate. Lovely. Okay, let's do some slightly more free pelvic tilts now we don't have our hands underneath. Tucking and curling back, scooping in that lower tummy as we curl back, and then pulling up and forwards. Remember those sitting bones going forwards and back. Sitting bones going forwards and back. You are towards the edge of the front of the seat. 
So you shouldn't be hitting the back of the seat there. Lovely. Good. Now something really beneficial to do while you're sitting in the chair. First of all, assume that good position where you're sitting straight down through the sitting bones. And then we can think about squeezing the glutes. So we're going to squeeze both glutes. You may raise up a little bit, you may not. Squeeze both glutes, hold for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Go again, let's squeeze, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. You'll probably feel the pelvic floor lifting and squeezing and through your abdominals, that's good. And again, five, four, three, two, one. On the last two, let's think about broadening the chest, tucking the chin, holding that good posture. Squeeze, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. And one more, squeeze and hold. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Now then, some more recognizable Pilates exercises in the chair here. You may want to come that little bit further forwards on the chair and feet should be on the floor. We're going to lift one leg just off the floor here. Now you're going to need the help of the other one to push down. So push down through one, and hover the other. Notice it's not too far off the floor there. And come back down, holding everything nice and strong around your middle. Think about that corset squeezing around your middle. And hover. Suddenly it feels a whole lot easier when we activate all of those muscles. Squeeze and lift. Down. Take these at your own speed. And remember relaxed breathing as you go. Drop the shoulders, tuck the chin. Good. One more each leg. Lovely. Okay, now we're going to be taking the leg out to the side. We're going to need a little bit of height on that. So if we can lift up through the heel, take the leg out, come back in, the heel comes back down. Okay, drop through the shoulders, tuck through the chin. Let's relax the hands on our knees now. Lift, out, in down. Brilliant. Good. Pulling up tall, dropping those shoulders, tucking the chin, using your glute muscles a little bit to take the leg out to the side there. And remember you're still sitting up tall through those sitting bones. Brilliant. Relax your breathing as you go. One for each side. Good. Okay, so we're going to slide one leg away. Now it does depend on the surface you've got here, how slidey it's going to be, but you can pick up a little bit to slide out. Remember to give yourself enough room to do that. Slide away and come back in. Just notice my leg is not going straight. Slide away and come back in. What we're concentrating on here is keeping everything strong and tall, drawing in through that lower tummy. Good. The further to the edge of the chair you go, the straighter you can get that leg. But don't be too worried about whether the leg is completely straight or not. Good. Last one. Nice. Let's come a little bit further back on the chair here. Just so you're a little bit more settled, but you are not using the backrest quite yet. I'd like us to pick up the leg a little bit to straighten out and come back down. Now this is a double whammy. We're getting a little bit of strengthening through our quad, but we're also getting a stretch through the hamstring. We're pulling up tall, the chest is open, the chin is down. We're straightening out. Now this is actually more of a traditional nerve stretch down through the back of the leg. So if you do feel something, along the lines of tingling or a bit more of a, a tense band down through the back of the leg you are more than likely stretching the nerve down through the back of the leg now that is not a problem unless any of those symptoms continue after the workout and it's also good to mobilize those nerves as well as stretching the muscles lovely
one more each side. And you'll notice my leg is a little bit straighter with each one that I do. You'll probably find the same. Great. Okay, so we're going to use the arms to stretch up and then to stretch out to the side. So hang your arms down the sides of the chairs there, the chair. If you have some arms on the chair, you may want to come that little bit further forwards to the edge to make sure they're out of the way. We're going to stretch forwards and up, keeping those ribs down and then come back down again. Lovely. Stretching forwards and up. Breathing in. Breathe out as you come back down. Stretching forwards and up. Try to draw as big an arc as you can with your arms. And one more, forwards and up. Lovely. Good. We turn the palms forwards. You need to be careful on all of these exercises for the vascular access through that arm. They're very long stretching exercises, so just shorten them or take a little bit of time just to breathe. Take the arms out to the side as big an arc as you can, all the way to the top and back down. Just being careful to hold all of this in position as you go. Breathing in and breathing out. Lovely. It's really nice to elongate and try and draw that circle as big and as long as you can. And come back down. Good. And one more time. Lovely. And back down. Lovely. So from the top end of your body, let's go back down to the bottom. Many of you will suffer, I'm sure, with swollen feet and ankles. And these movements through the foot and ankle can really ease that, especially if you spend a lot of time sitting. So pulling up tall again on the edge of your seat. Hands just nicely here down on your hips. Drop the shoulders, draw in through that lower tummy. I want you to lift one heel as high as it will go. And then lower it down and lift up the other. Good. Some of the force is, is going through that big toe to hold the foot straight, not allowing it to drop out to the side. Good. Lifting the heel and back down and then the other side and back down. I'd like to make this a little bit faster now to actually pump through the calves to bring some of that fluid back up. So one heel is lifted. We're going to swap and swap. Good all the time reconsidering that posture and if you hear any noises in the background just acknowledge them and then draw yourself back to the positions that you're trying to achieve lovely pulling up tall alternating lovely and just as that starts to feel a little tired we can stop there. And why not settle yourself back into your chair and reconsider our posture. Pulling up tall, sitting on the sitting bones, straight down, not too much tension through the back. Draw in through that lower tummy, nice and flat through the spine, broaden out through the chest, drop the shoulders down, lengthen up through the back of the neck and try and hold this for any active positions and activities that you're about to do through your day. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I'll see you on your next workout. <music>